Today we will set up a Microsoft Power Automate desktop robot. You can decide if you want it attended or unattended. The procedure is exactly the same. I created a virtual machine for our robot, but you can use a server or a computer if you prefer that. I'm Anders Jensen, a Microsoft most valuable professional. Let's learn some Power Automate desktop. To be able to run Power Automate desktop flows on my virtual machines, I first need to install the machine runtime. So I open up an Edge browser still on my virtual machine. Then I go to Google and I'll search for download the Power Automate desktop installer and click enter. Choose that first non-sponsored link. It says install Power Automate. Scroll a little bit down to download the Power Automate installer. And click it. That will download the installer. Once it's download, we run the file that is an executable file. Then the Power Automate installer will open. Click next. Here we will not install the Power Automate for desktop. That is important. We don't need that since we will develop our flows on our own machine. What we need to install is the machine runtime app to connect to the Power Automate cloud portal. That one is needed. If your flows needs browser extensions such as Edge, Chrome, then we will also install the browser extensions and similar with Java applets for UI automation. Here you will say by selecting install, you agree to Microsoft's terms of use, click install. If you installed one or more extension, you can enable it by clicking here. Get the Microsoft Power Automate extension and enable it. That's it. I can close here and it says that we have installed it. You can also try to refresh if it seems stuck. If it says removed, it will be there. Now also go up here to extensions, manage extensions. And here we have enabled it. This one will be ticked. It needs to be blue. That is fine. Go back to the installation and click launch app. Here you will need to sign in to your Microsoft 365 tenant. That's the one you use with your Power Automate desktop. I fine. Put in my password and I'll click sign in. And I also need to third party confirm on my mobile. That's it. We are getting the things ready in the machine runtime. That's it. We have set it up here on our virtual machine. Now we will create an automation on our developer machine and ensure that we have two way communication. You can close this one down and we can also close Edge. So this is our virtual machine. I can just have it up here or minimize. So go to your Power Automate stuff. Here we will search for a launch new Microsoft Edge and drag it. Again, remember to have this extension installed on your virtual machine, we just did. So everything is We will launch a new instance and we will just open up a L. So I'll say HTTPS google.com and then we'll do a search. I will just do it directly here in the, in the URL address. I'll search for Noma and then I'll save. If I try to run this automation, this will open up a new Microsoft Edge browser and search for Noma. Here I want to grab the ratings. 
and that will be my simple flow to test the virtual machine setup. I go back to Power Stop. Here we will create two variables, an input variable that will be invoked when the flow starts. We started from the cloud. That could be the search term, so we can make this dynamic. And we will also have an output variable that will push a value back to Power Automate Cloud. In that way, we can see that we have two-way communication. Let's create the two variables first and then configure them. Over to the right in input output variable. Click add variable, use input. This one here we will call search term. Like this. It will be used twice, so I just copy it from here. We will have it as text. The external name will also be search term, so I just paste it here. This will be search, the dynamic search term. Here it's noma fixed, but we want it dynamic. Then we can use it here in launch new Microsoft Edge. If I double click it, I will delete the nomer. I click this variable picker and double click the search term. That's it. We will also have an output variable for the actual rating. Again, go up to input output variables, click this little plus, and say output. We will call this average rating. Again, we copy it and paste it in here. Click save. So after we have launched it, we will extract some data, find and extract data from web page and drag it in here. Now open up your search results like this. This will get the live web helper. We will just pick the rating. Again, this is just a sample flow. So we can see that there's two way connection. What you do here is to right click the rating extract element value and pick the text. That's it. The variables reduced, we will use the actual average rating that we created. Click this arrow, take the variable picker and double click the average rating. Let's also close the web browser again to clean up, search for a closed web browser and drag it in. Then we'll click save. That's it. That's our simple flow that will check if we have two communication. Now save your flow and I gave it this name. Please like the video if it helps you. So that's the name that we'll be looking for in Power Cloud. Then we go back to browser and navigate to Power Automate Cloud. I can just type in powerautomate.com and I can click enter. That will take me to go up to create, we will just choose an instant cloud flow here. But you can choose a schedule flow or a flow that runs by trigger. This is just the easiest one for demo purposes. We will call this flow two way communication test. And we will choose to manually trigger our flow. I'll click create. We will then choose new step and then we will search for run it flow build with power automate for desktop so click this here so in desktop flow i will select my flow which was the please like the video if it helps you here i can choose between attended and unattended attended is when we are already signed in on the instance and unattended is so that our robot can run even though we're signed out. The unattended requires a license, which I don't have, but give this video a lot of thumbs up, then I might be able to afford it once my channel gets bigger. And of course, I'm just kidding. I'm very appreciative on all your support. But anyway, I click attended here. Then I click these three dots and under my connections we need to make the connection so click add new connection here we will connect directly to the machine in the machine or machine group i choose my virtual machine which is called demo vm then we also need a domain and username and password to find the domain and username i go to my virtual machine here 
I go down to the start menu and then I just type CMD for command prompt. I click to open it. Once that is open, I type who am I? And again, this is on my virtual machine. Here we get the domain and username. So what I do, I mark this, control C on my keyboard, that will copy it. Now let us just do this and minimize. So I paste in whatever is in my clipboard that was the domain and username we just got. Now we need a password and that is the password to your virtual machine. I pasted in mine here and I'll click create. And let me close this. This is just my password saver. Here we need a search term. That was the dynamic search term in Power Automate Desktop. Here I will choose my own company name, which is Anders Jensen Org. Let us go up here and save. And we can test this automation. So this will run on our demo VM. So when I click test here, I choose to manually test the flow. We will click continue and run flow. I can even inspect it here if I open. It will take a little while before it runs, but it will. Now we open up the browser. We navigate to the Anasjensen org. It will scrape the data and now it closed the browser down again. So it actually ran on our virtual machine. Let me again do this. I'll click done. And it says that our flu and successfully. If I go into the log, that is click this run a flow build with Power Automate desktop, we can see that we get the average rating back, which is 5.0 for this company. Network and get help with your Power Automate flows. We are more than 6,000 RPA developers waiting for you. Your guide and invitation is right here.